Thank God for favor and thank God for strength. Thank God for another opportunity to be in his house. Amen. Amen. It's always a, a blessing to be alive. Amen. Always, let me say it again, always a blessing to be alive. Amen. Amen. Thank God. Amen. Even if you're tired, you're still alive. Amen. Thank God. You could have been dead sleeping in your grave. Amen. But God gave us another opportunity. Amen. So I want to thank God for all of the saints. Amen. For our first lady, sister. Amen. Our Sunday school, amen, uh, Christian education director is out of town, amen, many of the teachers are out, are out, amen, some of the saints are just at home, amen, let me just tell it like it is, amen, <laughs> God is good, amen, but uh, Deacon Bullard is going to come to give us insight, amen, of our review of our uh, lesson, amen, uh, come on, say, giving one's all, give him a hand as he comes, come on. Give God a hand clap of praise. Amen. 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 We thank God for our pastor and our first day. Come on, give him a hand. Amen. Amen. I tell you what a blessing it is uh, to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. Just one more time. Amen. 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 And one thing I have to keep before myself that this is the review that I'm doing and I'm not Amen. here teaching. Amen. 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 Because Pastor said, Deacon, I don't want you up there talking for about 30, 45 minutes. <laughs> But giving one's all. Amen? Amen. Amen. It's a blessing when you have somebody that loves you, Amen. that wants to point you in the right direction. Amen. Amen. When they see you with your head and they're saying, they come over and try to help you get your head out the saying, Amen. Amen. Uh, Paul's letter to Rome was to tell them collectively, he was almost begging them, this word called, I beseech you. Amen. Amen. He is appealing to them from his heart to try to make themselves better than what they've been living. Amen. Amen. Because see, sometimes your mom and daddy can see you running around with the wrong people in life. And they'll tell you, listen, come on, I beg you, stop going down that road. Amen. 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 So Paul says, I beseech you, amen, brother, is to, to get your life together, to, to, to make yourself a holy and acceptable unto the Lord. Amen. Yeah. And renew your spirit and be better. Amen. Yeah. Clean yourself up. Have a renewance in your mind. Amen. How do we have a renewance in our mind? We learn to love more. We learn to forgive more. We study God's word more. Amen. And, and, and make yourself a, a living sacrifice. How do you make yourself a living sacrifice? From inside out, make yourself clean. Fix yourself up. Clean yourself up. Turn away from your wicked ways. Turn away from all that backbiting. Put down folks. Turn from all that stuff. Renew your mind in the spirit. Let me go to the second page. Go ahead. <laughs> he said we're one body. Yes, one body. We're one body. We're all in this thing together. Yes, we're all in this thing together. Yes. Lord have mercy. We love. We love and we have compassion. We tell people all the time that we forgive people. Yes. And we do for people. Yes. But all the time you got some type of hidden agenda inside of you. Lord, yes. yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Get up. If you're trying to get to heaven. You got to love. Amen. You got to forgive. Amen. You got to be one accord spiritually. Amen. Why am I coming? Why am I coming to church Sunday after Sunday? Amen. Leaving here mad and talking about folks. Amen. Paul said, get yourself together. Time to time is here. The time to get yourself right is now. I can't wait till tomorrow. Tomorrow I might be gone. Well, Lord, Lord, I know, Lord, I know I should have forgiveness in my heart before. He said, let me tell you something. He said, whatever you do, do it by the grace of God. Amen. Do it by the faith that you have in Christ. Amen. He said, if I've given you the spirit of teaching, he said, teach very well. Amen. He said, if I give you the spirit of blessing, folks, give generously. Amen. Oh, I bless 
bless everybody. Yeah, like the words of Pastor Taylor say, your four and no more. Yeah. Your two and you three. Yeah. If you got any kind of spiritual discernment, you'll let the Lord lead you in the way that you should go. I have a lot to say, but I ain't gonna say no more. Come on, give God a hand, come and pray, and let's receive the man of God. Amen. Amen. Come on, say thank God for the review. Yeah. You know, you know, uh, Deacon, Deacon Buller, and thank God for his spirit. Amen. You know, uh, he, he teaches in his personality and he breaks it. Uh, um, you know, when you're giving your all, you're not, you're not just giving to selective people. Amen. When you generously giving your all, um, and uh, we'll be out of the way and we're dismissing and prepare for worship. Amen. Come on, say a living sacrifice. Come on, say a humble sacrifice. Come on, say a willing sacrifice. So you have to be, you have to be alive to make it work. See, anything that's dead cannot operate. Amen. Let me say it again. Uh, anything that's dead cannot operate. That's why whenever you are ministering and you have folk that will not witness to the word it's because they're not alive. Because only living folk can witness to the word. So when you see folk that won't even nod their head, won't even stack their feet, won't even say amen, then don't bother them because they're not living. You sit next to a corpse. I hope I'm in the right place. He made it clear. I said this, and I'm, I'm finished. I said something throughout the layout of Tuesday night, and it really stayed with me all the way up to now. And I said that how when we hear the statement, once saved, always saved. And we think about whether or not, you said, well, Pastor, how could that be true? And I said Tuesday night, once saved, always saved, according to 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. If any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. And I use this word theologically, amen. I use the word uh, that whenever God saves you, he does not renege. Amen. He doesn't renege on what he's already done. And I said that, well, how can it be when people come to church and they're doing the same thing and they're drinking and smoking and getting high? Uh, let me say it. How can they do it? And they, they cheat and have a wife and two, three women and have a... Uh, now, now, ah, uh, how can they do it? And they still be sitting in here smoking and ah uh, and yes, sir. Uh, and I said this. I said the difference is yes, yes. is that I pastor two kind of people. Yes, I pastor people that are saved, yes. and I pastor people that are religious. Yes, Stay with me, okay. cause people that are saved. Amen will encounter some stuff, but you'll get back up. Yeah. And you'll repent. Amen. And ask God to forgive you. Yeah. And have a change of mind. Yeah. And a change of heart. Yeah. To where you won't never want to do that again. Yeah. That's when you repent. Yeah. Amen. Amen. But a person that's religious yeah. won't never repent. Yeah. A person that's religious. You say, well, Pastor, how do they be doing all of that stuff? You ready for it? Come on, say, it's only a show. 
It's what? It's only a show. Amen. And I'm closing. Amen. You have to present your body as a living sacrifice. Amen. I know it's, it's uh, you know, uh, a sacrifice is not something out of what you, uh, what you don't want. A sacrifice is out of something that you need. We don't give because we got money stacked up in the bank. We give because we make the sacrifice. All of us could have went through and could have stayed at home because you maybe worked last night. Maybe got a couple of hours of sleep. But what you did today that God is going to smile on is that you made the sacrifice. God don't smile on what you have plenty of. He smiled on the just a few things that you got left. Come on, say, it's not what I lost. It's what I got left. It's what I got left. Give God a hand of praise. God bless you. Thank you. Amen. Giving ones all. Amen. Remember, amen, uh, in order for us to take it to the next level, amen, we have to sacrifice. Amen. amen. It's not about, amen, yes, you have hard times, and yes, you're going through some things, but even in those struggles and even in your transition, you got to still press your way. Amen. Amen. Romans chapter 12 is a golden chapter. Amen. Amen. And this concludes, it concludes our uh, quarter. Amen. Remember your, our new Sunday school books are in. Amen. Make sure you see your Sunday school teacher. Amen. And uh, if you know that you're not coming to Sunday school, then don't just get a book. But if you know you, you know, you, you're going to up your game the next six months, then get your Sunday school book. Amen. In six months, it'll be, amen, uh, you know, 2020. Amen. amen. So you got six months to make it good what you promised, amen, God six months ago. Amen. 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 Come on, say we're going to do our best. Why don't we stand? Amen. Thank God for you. Thank God for favor again. Thank God for the Sunday school hour. Amen. Amen. All of the saints, amen, that uh, are on the road, we're praying for their traveling mercies. Amen. amen. And all the saints that are at home, we praying for them. Amen. amen. God is good. Amen. amen. Let us pray. God, we come, we honor you, we put you first. In Jesus' name, we thank you for all that we do. We ask God, we invite your presence in as we enter into worship. God, and we pray that you would bless and anoint the women voices today. Yes, in Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Thank, God. Thank God. And amen. amen. Come on, so let's go to worship. Let's go to worship.